on, guys? This is Mr. Tej 66 Movie Reviews. I am Mr. Tej 66. Today I'm reviewing Godzilla King of the Monsters, a brand new Godzilla movie. Now, this movie's of course getting a lot of hate from critics. It's like at 39% on the tomato meter, and they're saying, you know, it's all sub style, no substance. And I say bullshit. This movie was a lot of fun. Now, I am a huge Godzilla fan since I was, you know, six years old just watching these movies on TNT. I said on my last drug who Godzilla reviews, I, did, I used to watch something called Monster Vision on TNT where they would show old, like, horror movies, sci-fi movies from the 50s and 60s. And a lot of times they would have Godzilla marathons. So I that's my first exposure to it. So I liked the 2014 Godzilla film, despite a lot of people saying, you know, it was, they felt let down by it and there wasn't enough Godzilla. I thought there was... When he was on screen, it was awesome. Yeah, it was sort of a slow build, but see, I'm an old school fan. I remember when movies used to have build up. You know, where, you know, it was anticipation of the monster coming. Nowadays, all these kids, you know, just kind of want the same. You know, just, you know, just uh, if it's not there in two minutes, they're bored. You know, it's it's like a movie like Jaws. I don't think a movie like Jaws would work anymore because you know it's it's basically all build up until the final fifteen minutes, but. I really enjoyed the first film. I thought this movie was a lot better. It felt more like a Toho Godzilla film, just in its tone, structure, and just... The monster fights, of course, were brilliant, but let's get into the character stuff first, because and the plot, because that's what's getting a lot of the criticism. And I don't see it. I thought, I thought the characters were completely fine. They weren't anything mind-blowing. I'm not going to sit here and, you know... You say it, say they should win Oscars, but, you know, it, the movie reminded me of a disaster movie from the 90s, like Volcano or Dante's Peak, Twister, Armageddon, Deep Impact. You know, those movies were more spectacle, and they had very basic characterizations, but they worked, well, except Armageddon. I hate that movie, but I'll get into that another time. But, you know, the characters in this movie were totally fine, you know. They cracked a few jokes occasionally, and it's just, it's not the kind of movie where you need to, like, know their innermost thoughts all the time, you know? This is a disaster movie. Shit's going down. They don't have time to get into, for the most part, to get into, like, little character, into, like, big character moments. I mean, there's a couple. There's a, uh, a strange family with Ch Kyle Chandler as the father, Millie Bobby Brown as their daughter, and Vera Firminga as, you know, the estranged mother, and I thought they worked fine. I thought they worked you know, they they give competent performances. Their characters were, you know, somewhat fleshed out. And again, I'm not going to sit here and praise this movie hugely for the character stuff. It's about a six. I was like, it's okay. It's watchable. There's a few nice arcs. Oh, Ken Watanabe's in the movie, too, reprising his role from the first film. He's probably my favorite human character. That man has just the coolest voice. He could say anything. He could say mutant spiders are crawling up my nose and invading my brain. And I go... What kind of spiders? Does it hurt? Like, he just has such gravity in the way he speaks that it's great. He has a, And he has a nice arc. Fans of Godzilla will know he has, his last name is, you know, his name is Dr. Sarazawa in the film. Hardcore Godzilla fans will know what that means, you know, what I'm hinting at. I won't say anything else and spoil it, but they'll probably know. And I knew kind of going in that what happens to him, you know, happens to him. But let's get into the, the bread and butter of this movie, The Monster Fights. Oh my god, they were awesome. Just well shot. I, you know, he does the, uh, the director, Michael Doherty, was making his third, no, his third feature film here. The, you know, kind of goes for the style that Gareth Edwards brought to the first film. You know, a lot of on the ground shots looking up at the monsters. Although there are some, you know, high up shots and just, they are beautiful. They felt like something out of the Toho Godzilla films, but obviously with a bigger budget and, you know, more epic. But the throwdowns, everything, I was on the edge of my seat. When Godzilla used his flame, you know, his atomic breath, it was, my God, I felt like a five-year-old kid again. So, this movie is, there's really not much else to say. Yes, the monster, the monster stuff is awesome. The human stuff was okay, you know, not brilliant, but the monster stuff, first rate, King Ghidorah was awesome. It was exactly how I imagined him from the... T from the, uh, you know, in, in a big budget American version. You know, this movie felt like how I felt, you know, when the 98 Godzilla came out. You know, I was thinking to myself, hmm, well, what would an American version of these Toho films look like? And this movie was absolutely pretty much how I imagined it. It's very, you know, it is more Americanized, but, you know, that's okay. We There's been, what, 30-something uh, Japanese films? They've had, you know, they've had their, you know, their version of Godzilla. Let's have ours. Now, unfortunately, the movie is doing very well financially and you know it made 49 million this weekend I'm, I'm recording this on a monday and that's kind of sucks but 
it's not really that surprising. This is a very niche audience. You know, monster Godzilla films even aren't more cult sort of stuff, you know, for nerds like me, but... I can't wait for Godzilla vs. Kong. That is going to be an epic throwdown. It's already happening. Um, that's about it. If I would, if I were to rate this, I almost have to rate this for two ways. Uh, I can say 9 out of 10 for the monster fights. That was awesome. Like, it's 6 out of 10 for the human stuff. It was, as, as I've said several times, it was fine. It was competent. I don't know what the bitching was about. It, it just, it didn't bother me. It, it kept me in, interested enough between all the monster fights, so... Between the two, I would give this movie an 8.1. I really had a blast with this movie. If you're a Godzilla fan, you're going to love this. I don't know how you couldn't. Godzilla himself is just... It's the Godzilla we know. Like, a, a little Americanized, but nevertheless the Godzilla we know. But that's it. Uh, I will see you next time for Mr. Teej, 66 Movie Reviews.